there any prejudice from uh, the part of other uh, religions in Nigeria, for instance, Christians and Muslims, about the slaughtering of animals? Because we have this in Brazil. We have problems with this. People don't like seeing animals being slaughtered, and they, they accuse eh, uh, Afro-Brazilian well, We religion. used to... There used to be a lot of uh, imported religion. The Christian, the Muslims, we have all kinds of, we have a kanka, we have different kinds, but everyone knows the tradition. Yes. There's so no you respect. There's no one that does not know. There's no one among them who, are, who does not come from background of this tradition. So, the Christian, they might be criticized tradition and also Muslim, but uh, we are just trying to maintain peace because mm. sometimes what causes the problem in the religion is the crusade. The traditional religion does not have crusade, propaganda come to worship with me, my religion is the best. They, they don't have it traditionally. But the problem starts when they started the, what they call propaganda, crusade. In that, they try to discredit other religion in order for the people to accept what they, they bring. I think to me, all the religions they serve the same purpose. It is not necessary to discredit this one for other one. All the religions of the world are teaching human beings to be on the right path in order not to face the wrath of God. There's no religion that teaches its followers to engage in criminal activities, adultery, murder, and all that kind of misdeed that human beings are trying to engage. All the religion of the world, I mean, any religion that does not take bad habits from congregation is not called religion. Because what religion is teaching the human being is to be on the right path, right path, do good things, and believe that there's an angel that watching what you are doing. One day, you will have to account for all your deed, your lifestyle on, on the heart. That's what Ifa traditional religion are teaching us. So for someone to come say Christian, Muslim is the only way. That is where the problem comes from. If God himself wants the whole world to worship one religion, he has the capability of doing so. God, if it please him, he can allow Christian to rule the world while the Muslim has to come. If Jesus is the only way, why Muhammad came, if Muhammad is the only way, why Orumila, all these people are sent to each nation and they gave them the same appointments. 
Onumila was sent to the African nation while uh, Muhammad sent to the Arab and Jesus to Israelites. We respect them as prophets. So by the time the Christian and Muslim are trying to condemn the traditional religion, which is their landlord in Africa. Because in Africa, all these religions are imported to us. Just like traditional religion has spread all over the new world today. So the same thing. So it is wrong for any religion to condemn. Before you can condemn one religion, you will need to study and learn about that religion. Before you say the Bible is wrong, do you know anything about Quran? When you say Quran is wrong, how many of you can read Odrifa? Odrifa is the Bible of Yoruba people. So, this, what caused the problem is the, what they call propaganda, the crusade of religion. They are trying to win the soul. They say they are winning the soul. They say they want many congregations to, to come to their fold. After all, they will enslave them. That is why one of our uh, uh, Nigerian famous musician sing a song. His name is Fela. Fela say, if you are follow, follow. He call all the people that follow the Christian and Muslim, follow, follow. He say, some people are follow, follow, they close their eyes. They close their sense. So if you are follow, follow, don't close your eyes. Don't close your sense. If you accept modern imported religion, you don't need, you don't have to close your sense and close your, your eyes. That is what's wrong with a lot of people, especially in Nigeria today. So, but if traditional religion is not so powerful, Especially if I, if it does not have a root that God Himself plants, it will have been banished because of this propaganda crusade on radio, newspaper, on television, everywhere you go. But still. Traditional religion is still was strong. All those who go to the church, to the mosque, when the problem reads the clamors, they have been to the doctor, they have been to the churches, pray, fasting, the problem became unsolved. They still come back to the traditional temple. That is why you see a lot of them today. Even the pastor, the imam, those who head the church and the mosque, they still come for the service of a traditional religion which they are condemned publicly. So we therefore call them hypocrisy. So in Nigeria, you do have clash, clashes between Muslims and uh, Orishas? Yeah, you, we used to have. There used to be uprising, Muslim and Christian fighting in the north. Mm -hmm. When it became clamors, all the other people were getting together to guide against it. In the west, we are trying to maintain the harmony, peace. 
So we don't want what is happening in the north come to us because many lives had been lost. They destroyed property, building, churches. So in the west and the east, we are trying to maintain the peace, trying to have peace to other religions, to have a tolerance. Even the traditional religions are the most tolerant. They are the ones that survive mm -hmm. a lot. The survive abuse from these two important religions, abuse of the world, and in public, they used to disgrace them, but they are calm because they are the father. That is what we used to tell them. Those who call themselves Christianity, Muslim, uh, pastors, they are all descendants of Orisha. How can a father fight his own children? So that is why our father, our elder, they endure these difficulties because it is their own children that rise against them. And uh, gradually, a lot of them, privately, they still come to, to do what they need necessary to do.